What's up? It's Fly High. Uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial today and show you uh, how you can take your Tango 2 and add a bright ass LED inside. Uh, this one is I got from Tiny LEDs. Love Tinies. He's got the best shit. This one is 1 to 3S and I'm going to use it on 5 volts because there's a little 5 volt pad in here I can get access to. That way when I turn the radio on LED comes on. I'm not pulling straight from the battery. I have to add a little switch. This way it'll be automatically switched for me and it'll just come on when the radio is on. Uh, this little guy, I checked it on the meter already. It's only going to pull 0.2 amps on a 5000 mAh battery, which is nothing. So, uh, first thing we got to do is uh, get this thing out and we need to get some wires and if you don't have good quality wire on hand one good way to get it is you can just salvage balance leads off of crappy batteries like this one's gonna drop the cell on me and it's trash and you can just snip these bastards off salvage them and get quite a bit of good wire that way here I cut the head off the other end and we're gonna use this piece today go ahead and chop all three off we'll need two and then we're just going to uh, strip off just a tiny little bit tiny little bit don't know how long this end's going to be yet, so we'll uh, leave that and then take, whoops, sticky, 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 sticky. Let's get this out of the sticky way. Take uh, a little bit of flux paste and we'll weight them down and grab my TS-100. Thing heats up in less than 10 seconds. I'll grab my uh, solder. Get some nice shiny balls of solder on there. And then here's my solder. Here's my little board. Uh, positive. And negative positive and negative so positive and negative and then I'm gonna grab my tweezers my weight on there now all right now that's all you need to do in order to be ready to wire this thing up but you know what I can form a coat everything I touch uh, all my boards everything they're all getting conformal coated uh, these days I'm using worry free uh, I just started selling worry free. I got it in the store now. Uh, I've been using MG Chemicals for a long time and I still think it's a great light duty conformal coating, but I tend to want things heavy duty conformal coated. I want something that is going to survive if I put it at the bottom of the creek. And in this case, uh, this is going to be inside my controller, so it's not really at risk of getting exposed to water down in there. I mean, I do fly in the rain quite a bit, but uh, for me, the bigger thing is getting it so where it's electrically isolated so that if it's bouncing around inside of the transmitter, somehow, like it comes loose, uh, then it's not gonna fry anything. 
this is going to be coated in silicone. Like that. And the one other thing I'll do is put just a tiny little bit of uh, heat shrink tubing on there. I'm just snipping a couple pieces off right here. Green, of course. I don't even know what I'm going to use the second one for. I'm using one of them for the transmitter, though. Uh, it's getting noisy. Those guys just need to dry out a little bit and we'll go ahead and crack open the Tango too. Uh, I've been in mine a bunch of times so these come off pretty easily but just stick your fingernail right up under here or if you can't get it in there with your fingernail get a nice clean propeller and wedge it up under there and use the prop to peel that thing back. Uh, there are little tabs all the way across here. There you go, there you go, and they just pop right loose, and they're pretty durable. And then once you got it here, you got six screws, they're going to be 1.5 millimeter hex, so here, 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 and here. Let's just make sure we don't have anything sticky in the way. Carefully pry it apart. I feel I didn't leave any of the screws still too in there. They didn't all want to come loose. Yeah, that one's still in there too deep. lifts right away and I'm gonna unplug the battery gonna peel the battery off and right here is five volts and ground Let's see where's going to be the best place to use ground. And you got ground over here. Do something like that. Of 
round over here. Five volts over here. Stay out of the way of the gimbals. And I think it needs to live right up like thinking right here above the battery facing up that's where it should live Soldering iron. Heating up fast as fuck. Oh, let's put the lid back on the worry free. So it doesn't all come up on me. Uh, the solder. on that shit it is repelling I think we're going to run the wire up this way. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking. I soldered up. We'll do this one left-handed. Right-handed. <coughs> I'm left-handed. All right, so we're going to try a little different position. Uh, initially, I had it right here facing straight to the top, and they were like right up against the plate, and I think it would look better if I could get it to be a little... Uh, further away so that it's uh, a little more diffused. Then it's right there.
see what that looks like. screws I think that's gonna do it though plenty of light green light always on yeah so now I just got to put my screws back in so I didn't lose them all still works buttons all work cool so let's put the back plates back on Always do the insides here first. And just work my way around one tab at a time. So that's it. We got our modded, added the uh, LED to the inside, and now she's lit. Uh, if you need help getting anything going, you need a Tango 2. Uh, I sell the Pros. I've got a whole box of them coming in real soon. Uh, I also sell the clear nostalgia cases if you want to customize your own and make it special to you. Uh, and these are special. Uh, the brand new pre-release V2 gimbals. Uh, I had the original folding gimbals. And I love folding gimbals. Uh, I'll be getting more folding gimbals. But Trappy gave me the opportunity to try out these new ones. And I really, really, really like how smooth and buttery these things feel. Uh, absolutely terrific. Highly recommend the upgrade. They're just tighter tolerances on everything. And just feels like a fluid bearing to me. Just really, really buttery smooth. Uh, the old one, just, I don't know, can you hear that? It sounds like crap in it. <laughs> this one's smooth. Can you hear that? Smooth. Not smooth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so as soon as those come out, I'll be getting them in the store, too. But for now, uh, I'm going to keep rocking these non-folding ones. Uh, I think he said the non-folding like this will be about 25 bucks a set, and the the uh, folding variety of V2 will be about 45 bucks a set. Uh, so you'll be able to get gimbal upgrades real soon, too. Anyway, that's it for me. Peace.